uh, I met John Mark uh, a couple of months back and we just got to, you know, talking about nothing and everything. And, you know, um, he gave me, a, uh, he sent me a text message that he was doing the city cart racing. So I said, oh, that's an interesting thing to do. And I was also thinking of doing a restaurant that would probably fit into what he was doing. So we met up and we started talking and, you know, by some strange, you know, force of, you know, God, we had exactly the same thing in mind. And I said, but unfortunately, I can't do it alone. I, I'm not in the capacity to do the restaurant alone. So he said, no, I have another friend, Vincent, who also wanted to put up a restaurant, but he also had a concept of his own. So I said, okay, let's just see if he, you know, get along or whatever. So when, when I got to talk to Vincent, it was like, I don't know what happened. Like, we were on the same track. All of us had the same concept. We wanted to do the same thing. So everything just snowballed from there. And, you know, we're here. We're doing the restaurant for the city kart racing. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, basically, Jean-Marc and I, we are friends for a few years already. And uh, so I've seen the different places he ran up for the last 10 years. Um, he's bringing this new concept today. And uh, we chat, we exchange his ideas and... Uh, and uh, and and uh, and things about uh, what would be uh, good for the for the city car racing to be. And uh, actually, I had this idea of opening a restaurant. And when Jean Marc said, "I have a space for you," I said, "Yes, absolutely, I'll be there." And we met together with uh, Chef Tatung. Uh, we exchanged. We had a very uh, same ideas actually of uh, what food should be or could be. And uh, yeah, we fell in love to each other. I would say. I've been watching him uh, some videos in uh, YouTube or in Facebook, and then I actually impressed with his talent. <laughs> and then I said, oh, I said, we can share some ideas. Like, you know, I love cooking, and maybe I can learn more something from him. So we want something very rooted to uh, natural, okay? Uh, this is what we want to develop. We want some some place where you feel comfortable to come. It's like you be a, you at home. You are in a place where uh, you want to meet with friends, where you want to relax. So we mix up our ideas. Actually, we share a lot of uh, things uh, together. Also with uh, Chef Tatong, and uh, yeah, the idea is actually to bring a cafe style restaurant, which is uh, not very formal. Casual, but still the food is great. The, the food is uh, is uh, natural, is fresh. It's a farm to table concept. Um, well, yeah, food is simple, but uh, with uh, testing and uh, some talent actually. So uh, I believe uh, Chef Tadung is a is the right person actually to bring what we need to make the place uh, successful and uh, a place to enjoy. Um, it's, um, he, he has a talent actually to bring what has to be brought in the Philippines. The flavor, the tasting, the touch, the Filipino touch. We don't want to be uh, international, What's something you have seen already. We have to be special and this is, uh, this is definitely what we want to build up. So what we want is uh, fresh food, natural, healthy. It's, uh, it's a farm to table concept and the farm are, are year round. Uh, I've been very active uh, with working with a lot of local farmers. I'm also a member of the organic community in uh, in, in the Philippines. And um, I'd like to bring out the best of what these farmers have to offer, um, especially now that um, there's a lot of uh, consciousness regarding um, the environment, you know, carbon footprint. So we don't want to bring too many imported stuff into the restaurant. We want to be able to work with the local farmers to help their livelihood, to be able to offer what the best is around in the Philippines that people have probably not discovered yet. So we'll have like single origin coffee. We're going to have like uh, local cheeses from the local dairy farms. We're going to have organic greens from certain places. And, you know, once all of this is put together with a global mindset, I'm sure we're going to have really, really good food. And the name is Wagas Real. So Wagas Real is um, basically it's uh, coming from two um, two two ideas. Wagas for me was uh, we are good at sandwiches, we are good at smoothie, we are good at something, right? 
And then I realized actually, uh, Wagaz is a meaning in, the field, in Tagalog, right? So we just put a real beside it. And it's like mirroring English Tagalog, and yeah. it's really true. It's like 100%, it's like 200% true. So this is what is behind the name. And this is what we are. We want uh, true food, we, want, we are true people. This is a, this is a concept. And it's, it's really fun when you say Wagaz Real. It's something that you wouldn't probably, you know, if you had a, like a number of names written down, but you wouldn't really think that Wagas Real would be something for a restaurant. But it's so it's so quirky, it's so fun, it's so unexpected. It's gonna be reflective of the food we're gonna do. So we can tell you what cuisine it is, but definitely it's gonna be good food. Eto na Wagas Real. Try na. At City Cat Racing, Makati.